Welcome back to my obsidian getting started video. In this video, I will focus mainly on obsidian so that you can manage your knowledge better. And for this, you, you need to be a little bit handy and practice with me so that you can learn how to actually get the best potential from obsidian. First, download and install obsidian. I think that is the easiest part of this course. Then open obsidian. It will ask you to create new vault. Don't freak out by the fancy name vault. It is just another name of the folder. Uh, given by obsidian so create a new vault and let me create my vault spkb and then i have to choose the location where i want to keep all of my nodes so i think that's good for right now and then create so that's all that's all you have created a new um, vault inside your local folder i've said before all of your nodes are in your local folder Okay, so you can see that this is the user interface of Obsidian. This is so simple, right? This is so simple to trust actually how this is, can be so powerful. So let's create our first node and press the new node button and name it my first node and write something. This is my first node. So you can see that creating node is so easy in Obsidian. You can also use shortcut control N third node this is my third node so you can actually create node on the fly i said before and close node on the fly for closing node you have to press this button and if you want to open the node you just click on this node and if you want to see the node side by side press control and click on the node and click control click on this node so you can see that you can see as much as nodes you want to see side by side so that will be actually useful for cre i mean creating nodes in multiple files for organizing your node you need to create folder and creating folder is easy in obsidian just press on new folder button and name it fleeting node and create another folder permanent nodes so i have created two folders right and now I can create new nodes from the folder, right click on it and create a new node. Okay, and you can also drag and drop your node in the particular folder you want to reside. So that's all. If you expand this, you will see all of your nodes. So creating folder and managing and organizing folder is easy in Obsidian. Of course, we don't want to write our nodes in plain text because plain text is difficult to read and is not intuitive. So we need to know few markdown syntax for writing formatted text in obsidian and so let me open my first note and for actually you need to know three things how to write heading and how to write bullet and how to add link so let me show you how you can actually uh, write heading for writing heading you have to just write, uh, write down hash if you just write one hash that will be heading one okay after that write your heading one after that you can write anything and for writing the heading 2 you have to press double hash so you can see writing formatted text is not actually so much difficult in obsidian it is so easy the good point about markdown is you do not need to press your mouse for writing i mean taking your notes and this actually this is good for maintaining your flow and maintaining your note taking the last thing we will learn is how to create connection in obsidian because connection is important and the more you connect your knowledge and notes you will learn better and our brain does this continuously if you are connecting externally that means you are putting less pressure on your brain so let me show you how i can connect my first note with my markdown basic note this is here and for creating connection i have to press third bracket two times one two and after that it will show all of my nodes and when you have a lot of nodes that's not possible to actually nav navigate so better we will write down markdown so it will actually narrow down our searching markdown basic so by this way i have created connection with my my first node with markdown basic and if i just press on control and i will see that uh, the what is the content of this markdown basic i mean that is the same as here and if i just create um, if i want to open this in new window i have to press control and click so 
so this will open everything in new window so that means creating connection and visualizing your connection is easy in markdown finally i will conclude this video showing you a very interesting feature of obsidian that is graph view so if you press the open graph view you will see the all the connection you have created in your um, i mean in your journey and for this let me open the first node to demonstrate you visually uh, so i have opened the third node now i will connect this with first node see and it automatically connected the third node automatically connected with my first node so by this way the connection are created continuously in obsidian whenever you are actually creating new node it is actually connecting with your previous node because i told you before when we learn new things it is better if you connect with previous knowledge by this way we can actually create a ladder of our knowledge and we can the more we create connection the more we can remember things uh, we can also navigate our node from graph view so if i just um, press control and maybe that is co command in mac and press this node you will see that this node will open a new window and by this way i can do the same for this node as well so this is so intuitive i mean you can actually open node create node you can visualize node you can make connection and uh, node create i mean node creation is actually flawless in markdown so that is these are the simple things but these are the most powerful things of markdown and obsidian so that you can actually streamline your note taking and you can actually manage your note taking without taking so much hassle without using many application without using the application that hangs up for hour these are the thing you need to know to get started with obsidian and smart knowledge management and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and enable bell icon to get update of new video you can also subscribe to my newsletter uh, so that you can get update of my new video weekly you will get the link in the description below